Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalever, and thank you for joining me here. So today, we begin a new campaign, finally, on the Old World Blues mod with the Tlaloc's Tl 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 Demise update. I don't know how to say that. I don't. I never took Spanish in high school, so I don't know a lot of Spanish stuff, but we're playing as a Mexican-based country, as you can tell from the title of this video and this campaign. Now we have new information about West Coast, Mexico... This is, honestly, in my opinion, a little hard to read. If you want to read it, go right ahead. But we're going to go to Mexico anyways. I hope. Alright, so, well, there's so many options to choose. And because of what someone said yesterday, um, I decided that I will play as Tlalocan. Now, you can't finish the game as this person because this person dies, you know, before the game actually ends. Uh, I really wanted to play as the Republic of the Rio Grande or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, Republic of the Rio Grande, just, but everyone said that so many people were playing this, the Republic, so I decided, you know what, I kind of know it a little bit, but I'm going to go Tlalocan instead. I wanted to play the Republic just because they're connected to Texas, and I used to live there, so whatever. Anyways, uh, we'll play with this nation here. Now, uh, I guess, like I normally do, game rules, pretty set to normal stuff, nothing's ever changed, so... We'll go play with historical focus because I don't know this update too well, but let's get started. Anyways, uh, I have ran through this campaign a little bit. Bef I've ran through this a little bit off screen. This is still, I would say, a little bit hard to read, but if you want to read all this stuff, it's, you can, you know, of course, load up play 4. Just pause, pause the video right now. So, let's go ahead and close that out. Uh, I'm trying to find the flag for this. I'm not sure where it is, but I love that they added animated portraits into Hoi 4 now, at least Old World Blues, and now we apparently even have like an animated dancing Hitler portrait. I guess I can never monetize this video ever. Anyways, that's okay, I'm not here to make money, at least for now. So, we got a lot of guys, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about this, except that we do use now energy cells, and we do use a lot of robots for our country, so. We will be booting up because our leader, Tlaloc is actually an alien AI, an American built thing, so that would be really cool to do. Now, they've updated this focus tree since last I played, and honestly, the last time I played this, by the time you guys are watching this, was almost two weeks ago. So I really don't know what everything is about, I'll be honest. Don't really know what everything's about, but I'm going to try automated warfare to see how that's like. I've almost never gone down this path. Uh, actually, you know what? we got to make sure we do industry, because they, like slice and diced the industry tab it's big now or at least a lot more fearsome we'll say um yeah construction stuff like that uh monthly population that'd be good so because of the nation we're playing as here we eventually will be more will i will say split up when our leader dies because i kind of already saw what will happen so i'm gonna go ahead and build make, make sure everything in the north is good we'll say good in the neighborhood. We're going to build a lot of civilian factories just because we're going to need them. Um, ooh, longboat canoe hull. Well, I guess we'll build some longboats. Go ahead and go to Monterey. But, I really don't know the ins and outs of this update. I'll be honest, I really don't know. I want to use a lot of robots. I know that, but I'm going to build some regular infantry as well. That'd probably be for the best. Oh crap, what is this? Um, there's a difference between support robots and then regular robots. Design. I want to use mostly heavy robots, but because they have the armor, hmm, let me see. So we need support robots. What do we currently use? So we can get some militia. We can, we can use heavy robots, which also use some support robots. I want combat robots because if we get more combat robots, we just get more armor. Which I think will probably be better off for us. Actually, we lose some organization. That's not good. Well then. Well, anyways, let's go and build some infantry. I'm always going to need some infantry. And robot policiales. I don't know Spanish at all. Hmm. I'm going to be learning this up mod update. Probably as time goes on. Because I'm playing as a fairly safe country right now. I know some of you guys are going to tell me that, oh no, you shouldn't do this, you should do this instead, you should do this other thing instead. You know, whatever. 
Uh, go ahead and do this. I'm going to need some of these guys. I'm going to need... Um, what's the difference between these two? Mr. Gutsy, Police P Protectron. Because I know with the update, Robotics got a serious overall. We don't need that. So this is definitely different than each other. That's really cool that he... Oh, he even has a sombrero. So right now, what we really want, Gutsy versus Police Protectron... Gutsies is faster. They do same soft attack, same breakthrough, same piercing. They use more cell usage, which is basically our oil now. Slightly more per, per, uh, costly to produce. Same armor, same hard attack, better hardness, and same defense. So, really, for double the cost of usage, you get a little bit better stats. Now, what I want to do is get down to here. Sentry Bot Mark 1. I will probably convert everything to these because I prefer these Mark II's than Robo Brains. Just because these do more, these have more armor than Robo Brains. So I'm gonna say let's use Protectron's Mark II's for now. Currently, we are using Mr. Gutsy's, of course. Does anyone else? I guess we're only using Protectron's or these guys. Oh, uh, what's the hardness on these guys? 25 armor, 20 armor, 20 armor. Crap. Hmm. These cost a little bit more to make, but these cost the same as... For now, we're going to make a healthy mixture of both. Let's do that. I know that's... I, would, I should never do this, but I'm going to do it anyways because I can. So, cell so usage, infantry equipment... Cell so usage, support, robots, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to make both for now, just because I'm still learning this a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'll make some divisions. It really doesn't matter right now, just because we're go our country is going to be torn apart in the future anyways. You know what, screw it, make some of these guys. I want to make some of these divisions as well. And do that, and do that. Cool. We're good on that. We have our focus set. We have all the stuff. I'm going to disable all this stuff, because we don't need to see it right now. Let's actually get into the game. And I forgot to press my stopwatch about how far we've gotten into the video. So, I don't know how long this video is going to last, but we're, we are booting up and powering on. Mmm. As I just took a sip of coffee. So, Tlaloc was the subject of a bitter debate between Petro Chico and his friends at the Pentagon. Petro Chico wanted to use a system to boot, pr boost productivity of Mexico, while the Pentagon wanted to use Mexico as a training ground for the robot armies that would later be deployed to China and, at the end, America's own cities. Hmm. What's good for Petro Chico was good for America. Research speed goes down, but we get more resource efficiency gain and less consumer goods, but an effective army was even better. More division, attack, and defense. I'm going to say if I'm using robots, for the most part, we should be okay unless we're fighting the Brotherhood of Steel. So, I'm going to go with what was good for Petro Chico was good for America. And I'm... And I guess I'm just using this accent because I feel like it. Oh, crap. we got a lot of divisions. So, we got the main army, which is... Oh, using basic weaponry. Oh, that's not good. We've got a lot of robots, which is cool. They use a lot of Mr. Gutsies. He just... They use a lot of cells, and I don't, I don't like that. That's why I want to kind of break it up with police protectrons, which aren't as good as Mr. Gutsy's, but it will help with cell usage, I think, in the long run. I mean, I'm not planning to go to war with really anybody. Uh, not for a while, at least, just because there's really no point to. I mean, I know... What is this? Oh, actually, conflicting imperatives. So, Tlaloc's awareness came about as the bombs fell. Tlaloc was forced to reconcile, coding that prioritized the preservation of American assets with a scientist's hack to preserve a Mexican civilians. The indecision gave the spark of awareness as Tlaloc simulated entire moral codes and cost-benefit analyses as the bombs fell. And over each simulation, Tlaloc's priors, priors changed, placing more and more value on Mexican civilian lives. By the time the bombs landed, Tlaloc couldn't help but run his simulations again and again and wonder where his masters had miscalculated. Prioritize the army, or prioritize civilian equipment to save the nation. I'm going to probably go with uh, save the nation, because I want to make sure we, we're really strong in the north. So, if you don't know, eventually when we die, our leader, who's really animated and looks really cool, um, we split into three nations. Right now, you'll see we have Zapata, 
He's basically the revolutionary farmer. We have Moctezuma, who is an ancient warmonger, as well as Maximilian, a bumbling politician, who actually I want to probably go under because Maximilian, we can reform an Austro-Mexican empire. Anyways, the children of a god. Ooh, and then we can do some other stuff. Cool, putting affairs first. Falok was never meant to be sentient, nor to be isolated from his superiors for hundreds of years, as the years of silence dragged on into centuries, or centuries, till Locke's mighty intelli intelligence began to fracture, first imperceptibly, but slowly spiraling into a cacophony of rival voices inside his head. To better cope with the degradation, Flalock gave these fractures personalities taken from the history books of Mexico, and I hope to better teach them about the people and nation they would one day rule. All of these personalities, one would rise above the others to the prime position of Tlaloc's chief confidant, confident in his failing years. Hmm. Oligarchy, democracy, Maximilian, Santa N. Ooh. Well, I kind of already said I wanted to go with Maximilian just because I want to see a future Austro-Mexican Empire who still uses robots, who's not a communist, nor is an oligarch, but an elite person who loves everybody. Hmm. Besides, what is a politician if not bumbling? So I'm going to go with Maximilian. Probably to the chagrin of other people, but that's okay. Someday we will help take out Santa Ana. Terrible leader. Terrible, evil son of Tlaloch. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if I am or not. So, actually, I really, I was checking out the board earlier, but they actually have, like, poker chips and old world blues up here. It's kind of hard to see, honestly. They even have, like, a stim pack or syringe. They've obviously got, you know, cards down here. Chips. More, uh, bottle caps. Stim pack, maybe. Uh, they got some Nuka-Cola down here. They even have Hawaii down here in Sierra Leone. Very interesting. Storm. So that's really, really cool. Obviously, this game runs quite a bit laggier. Oh, they also also added in Restore the Power Grid right now, but we'll see what happens. But, yeah, it's very, very interesting to see that the amount of work that has gone on into this mod, that is just amazing to see. I think this is really great. I mean, like I said earlier, the game is now getting quite a bit laggier, but still not that bad. So, But just the passion that went into this, this mod is awesome. I can't wait for... Oh, I think the next update will be with, like, the Mormons and Heaven's Gate and stuff like that. I think that's what the next update is. But that'll, of course, some, be sometime in 2020. When, of course, which will be a great time in the United States when everyone is hating each other for elections. Always a great time. But as you can tell, my voice isn't as upbeat as before because of the events of this past week. But, you know, we all have to keep chugging forward no matter what. So... Probably with this, I'm probably not going to go with scavenge tools just because that line ends pretty quickly. I'm going to go with improvised tools and then, um, well, if I go down this line about industry, work is needed versus work assignments. Work as needed sounds almost communist, but by the end, if you go down the bottom one, the standard technology construct, you lose production, efficiency, growth. I don't like that. Up here, you get less factory output. But you get more recruitable population factor, so I am destined to go that way. As well as construction speed. Very good. Very good. Ooh. So cool that they actually animated this. Putting affairs in order. Very good. Take another sip of coffee here. So, uh, so if you don't know about Tlalocan, Tlaloc, I'll talk about that in a little bit. After, well, I'll tell you what I want to say after I'm done here. Um, for the most part, actually, it's just us going to be kind of watching the game go on. Ooh, we definitely need this. Definitely want to get out of this, but we really can't do that yet. Uh, division attack, uh, that stuff is okay. Organic, that's okay. Ooh, combat robot attack and defense, that's pretty good. But let's go ahead. Ooh, actually, Petro Chico Inc. Yeah, that stuff is okay. Let's go ahead and grab a research focus for more army XP. Tlaloc's demise. Tlaloc, Tlaloc is dying and dying quickly. As the following years go by, his memory banks Lee will continue to degrade and before long, he will shatter completely, leaving only his progeny and his legacy behind. 
To ensure that Mexico continues to thrive after his passing, it is imperative that Tlaloc competes, or completes, his final will and testament, or his sons will suffer because of it. In the final quarter of Tlaloc's life, he must make the hardest decisions, choosing between his love and his desire to strengthen his sons with the duty of protecting Mexico. Nothing gold can stay. God, that, that's really true if you know what happened this past week for me. But anyway, so this is actually really good to talk about this. So, we have 95% memory available. He has 1,950 of his 2,000-some data banks, and we lose about 1.12 a day to, for his children. So eventually, this hurts our stability over time. Eventually, we'll have 0% stability, and we are going to break off into different nations. So, and actually, I've done almost nothing for my robots. Cool. Uh, you're a full army. That's really cool. I haven't done anything for this. This is probably the longest I've ever gone without doing anything. Senor Pew. Very cool. Pancho Villa. I don't know how to pronounce this. Quauatemoc. I have no idea. Miguel Miramon. Well, Panzer Leader. Yeah, sure, sure, why not. So, does someone need a promotion? No, no one can be promoted. We got some regular guys here. Uh, P Pancho Villa, because he's pretty good with infantry, I've heard. Mm. Gotta love water. So, I don't believe I can go to war with anybody. We need world attention to be at 1%. Obviously, he's not there yet. But if I can go to war with like, these cartels early on... Oh, wait. I can't go to war with them. Um, if I can go to war with anybody early on, that'd be good. Just because I can take them out and just see what would happen if we broke up with them. And obviously, we have the free fighters. Very cool. Very, very cool. We have Santa Ana over here, of course. We have Petro Chico. Who is El Cillo. I really don't know any Spanish at all, man. Who looks, honestly, a little upset. Uh, Nueva Aztlan, which is basically like the new Aztec Empire, with Chichen Itza, which is really cool as well. Uh, Costa Cafinada, awesome stuff. Coffee Kings, well, I just had some coffee myself. Uh, Tierra de los Tzotzil, oh god, I can't say this, and Guerreros de Honduras, under Commandant Luis. Cool, a helping hand. So we got a little more popular technocracy, more daily political power gain. What do we want to do? The prodigal son, a gift for my son. Well, what we really want to do is build ourselves up as best as we can first. I think that'd probably be for the best. Protectorons, more population, sowing the seeds. Oh, yeah, it's good with sowing the, se the seed first for more construction speed. That would be for the best. Put you under here, put you under him. Uh, oh, we actually have 8% world tension. Can I? Oh, baby. Hello there. Oh, I can't do that. God dang it. I can't do anything now. So basically, my, my armies are useless. But we do need to prepare for a eventual war against Nueva Atlan and Chichen Itza. I'm saying that wrong. I know I am. But we'll see what happens, you know. So I'll probably de oh, deploy most of oh, my army down here. There you go. Even though we really won't be getting into any sort of war anytime soon. Due to the nation I have chosen. So, it might be to some a little uninteresting, I would say, in the beginning. Just because it it takes time, of course, to get things started. Uh, do I really need scrap motorcycles? I don't think so. Let's get some gliders. So, in the meantime, we're just going to be building up a lot of armies. Which will be necessary for when we split off each other. This company speeches, more political power gain, and more daily intellectual support. Well, ooh, who'd, who's... Actually, Maximilian... What is... I forget exactly. He's, he's not... This is more of the people support. Oh, it's right here. Intellectuals. We want more intellectuals. That's really what we want. So, more daily intellectual support, more... Daily, daily political power. That isn't bad. And honestly, my political power isn't going to be super useful. This is actually one of the rare starts where my political power, I don't really have very much use for it, I would say. Just because I've chosen a nation that's different than what I normally choose, I guess I'll say for that. Since we can't go to war with anybody. So that's why I'm just trying to let time go on as fast as possible. We're going to begin a scavenging program. I don't want to do company speeches. I don't need the political power. I just want to build my area up as much as possible as we are sowing the seed. And we will be doing... Ooh, democracy. 
people support. Let's do some infrastructure. I think infrastructure would be pretty good for us. Mm, dynamic tactics integration for more breakthrough, more organization, and more max speed. Good stuff. So, what do we choose down here? Oh, early mobilization? Yes, please. Everything else is not really worthwhile at the moment. So, basically, we're dying, and we're just kind of waiting for time to go on. Uh, anything good here? It's all ahead of time. Engineering. Oh, definitely get that research speed. Definitely get that engineering stuff. We definitely have to get that. So, this is different than what I've, I'm used to. I'm not used to specialized warfare or anything like this. Oh, we need tribal scout kits. I'll definitely do that, then. And I like that we do have five research slots. I think the Rio Grande Republic, Republic of the Rio Grande, has only four. So, I don't know about everyone else. I didn't really spend a ton of time with all the other nations, but let's see what happens. Shifting alliances. Veil Bandits has joined the Phantasma Cartel. Phantasma. So, the NCR is pretty thick right now. They went to war with the Baja Mexicans, or cartels, I guess you could say. Beckles Colony. Uh, are you made with... Yeah, you're made with almost a pretty good mixture of these guys. So, energy cell usage. I just want to be careful about that. About my energy cells. If I can. Honestly, I haven't played Hoi... I'll be honest, I haven't played Hoi 4 in like... Two weeks. Ever since I made all those videos about the Enclave. So, I really am not used to playing this at the moment. Uh, which, is, which is not good to say, but you know, you know whatever. So I hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you're having a good time with whatever you're up to. I really do mean that. Um, I'm, I'm going to say this at the end, but I have created a Discord, so if you want to you know, talk about yourself a little bit, see how you're doing, see what you're interested in, I have, hopefully, at this point, a link in the description below. So just, you know, see how you guys are all, what you guys are up to and which games you're currently playing. Besides Toy 4, I'm sure. So, uh, For me, personally, I'm... I'm actually recording this, finally, again, uh, on the same day-by-day -day basis, basically. Now, I will be becoming a little bit more busy, which honestly won't affect you guys really at all. I might have to record my videos a little bit earlier in the day, but it really won't hurt you guys or affect this channel at all. Uh, for me personally, I have been playing on my phone quite a bit. I've been playing, uh, not gonna lie, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, because back in the day, I... When I grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff, I've been playing that game a whole lot. Holy cow. I, I loved watching the anime for Yu-Gi-Oh! I kind of dropped out of it after like 2005 or something, so... But I've been playing that game a whole bunch. Loads of fun, or, or at least the PvE is. I don't like playing PvP too much. As you can tell, I never do PvP, even in Hoi 4, just because... I really like controlling the time. I'm a... Because I get, you know, kind of fussy if anyone else controls the time, the speed of how fast time goes on. I love just blazing through things like what we're doing right now, but that's just me. Oh well. So, but yeah, I've been playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, just ch t testing it out, seeing how the game's like, you know, having just having a good time with it, you know? Because sometimes, some days aren't so great, and you want to have a, a good day. Uh, let's see, civilian, yeah, let's get some civilian workshops, that'd be pretty good. I mean, we really don't need a lot of manpower at the moment. We will need it when we split up as a nation. So, I'm already thinking about that, but that's why we're building a lot of uh, civilian factories now over here, in this part of the country. Oh, more robots. I love robots. Uh, put them next to the cartels, some cartels. So, to me, this playthrough will be akin to the playthrough I did, I'll do it now, when I first started Overworld Blues and I played as the NCR, kind of getting my feet wet just because things have changed and I guess the Chichen it's an empire declared war on La Tierra de las Tzotzil. I know no Spanish. Actually, that's a lie. I know a little bit of Spanish like El Gato, my cat. I know Mi Casa is Su Casa, my house is your house, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not, not too much else. Glider. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to make sure we get enough uh, air support for when we split up. Ooh, a scavenge for old world tech. That probably wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Company speeches. We want more intellectual support, I think. Not people. Oh, but more multi population. That'd be pretty, probably be pretty good. Uh, a scavenge for old world tech. We'll see what happens with that. Since we don't, we're not really on the defense, I don't believe I can actually send volunteers to anybody. 
Uh, all the following must be true. Has mutually positive opinions with my country. Uh, owns a home area state within 200 kilometers. And owns a home area port within 600 kilometers. I'm not allowed to send volunteer forces, though. And we need roll attention to be at about 40%, which it, it's not quite there yet. So, Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Scavenging options. Whatever. Very good. Food subsidies. Good, 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 good. We're just trying to build as much as we can. Unassigned divisions. Just throw on some more robots here. We have a tiny, tiny navy. Only three ships. But it's better than, better than nothing. Felipe Baragan. Uh, workers' compensation. Resources. Democracy. Building slots. That's actually would be bad. What is this? More manpower. Manpower is nice, but... Don't really need it. Double bonus for industry. That sounds actually really good. Ooh, but standing guard. People population self-defense training. Um, let's get some industry bonus. I want to get as much research done as I can before we perish. Oof. Before we perish. So, cool. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm on the naval tab. Do I have any planes? Do I even have an air base? Oh, I do have an air base. But no planes. Oh, only 75, huh? Ruin depot. Oh, they use energy cells? So, it's really just like the oil. So, planes cost energy cells, which makes sense. Makes total sense. Oof. So, where are we building our stuff now? We're building it up here. We're building it in the left, which might not be part of us in the future. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Won't matter. Everything will be under us one day. Nice. Aerial warfare, naval warfare, specialized warfare. Um, Do I need anything else here first? Let's get some more construction speed, so. Yep. Pretty good. So, yeah, I've been playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Obviously, I'm getting back into White 4. Uh, if you didn't watch my video about my cat passing away, I am currently in a type of graduate school, so I'm a little busy. A little busy, but that's alright. And I didn't realize this, but apparently the Texan Arms Association has broken off from the Republic of the Rio Grande. And when I played this the first time, I was amazed that we have Todd Howitzer here. Ever the enigmatic charmer, Todd Howitzer's Sharp shades and iron shirts make him stand out even among his fellow elites. His family has manufactured weapons since before the Great War, and he has a prestigious show for it. Now he's been chosen as a representative and leader of the newly founded TAA, but much to, to the dismay of his cohorts and his followers, like us, he seems more interested in making a profit than building a sustainable capitalist paradise. Hmm, Todd Howitzer. Uh, I I love this so much. I love it so much that they included this, and it's just. I hope Todd Howitzer in real life is listening. Oh, oh, God! I need a good Fallout game again. I need an. I really do. But we have a little bit of manpower. We have a couple of uh, divisions here, and for us, I want to make sure that we actually have some spec ops divisions that we can train. Ah. Uh... I don't, I don't want to do that yet. I want to make sure we have enough army XP that we want to make at least really good 20 combat width infantry divisions. And of course, we want some pretty good 20 combat width uh, robot divisions as well. Actually, i got to keep an eye on time. I don't know how far we've gone into the game because I forgot to get my stopwatch going on my phone. Oh, manpower. This is all nice stuff, but friends, comrades, we won't be here forever. Um, reconciliation. Maybe reconciliation would be good to do, so everyone's not pissed off at us too soon. Standing guard. Eh, I'll do that. Screw that. Oh, we got a lot of political power. Uh, resistors. Resistor? I hardly know her. Mm. Industrial concerns. I think industry would actually be a really good thing to do, just because there's so much industrial stuff. And we're not in a war yet, so all of this other stuff... Ooh, daily air XP gain. That actually would be pretty good. Organic. All this stuff is good for current stats if you need them, but we really don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and get Industry. Love it. And I really like that they added in a Restore the Power Grid so that you can core states, which is really great. So I don't really need the state transfer tools much, but I still need it just in case wars get ugly, wars get messy, and... Damn. That's a small brotherhood. I'm so used to having the brotherhood expand up north so much more, but okay, whatever. Uh, so I don't know much about this with the land doctrine. 
whether it's good to go quantity or quality. So with quantity, uh, you get less supply consumption, which is good. Oh, uh, you get less soft attack and less hard attack in exchange for cap and growth, which I do not like. But you also get even further less soft hard attack, less soft attack, less hard attack for even more cap and growth. Or you can go with quality for less supply use by robots, more breakthrough, as well as more hardness and armor for your entire army. So I think quality is overall better, so you use less supplies. If you need less supply consumption for your infantry, just put on a logistics company. It's very easy. No problem there. So, yeah, that'd be probably be good to do. I want to see what we can do for all scavenge old world attacks. See if we can just come up with something, so... Manpower, no problem. Building lots and lots of stuff. We need some gliders eventually. We could obviously need more of this stuff. Uh, tribals. I don't think I'm really going to be using Spec Ops Divisions. I know they changed some stuff here. And about Spec Ops or Special Operations Divisions. So robots are not Special Operations. I might use Power Armor eventually. I doubt it. Or I might just use special operations divisions, of course. So let me know in the meantime. So I'm not going to read this since this is common and everything. But I did this just because it gives us a boost to building factories and stuff like that. So that would be pretty good for us. Don't really need to do too much of this since as we got a lot of... Oh, we're building some combat robots, which will be good for the future. Support robots, not bad. That's going fairly well. And who drives for the poor... For a month and a half, we get more monthly population, which might not be bad to do. But I want to save as much civilian factories as much as possible. Yeah. Equipment. Actually, scavenge for robots. Eh, we'll do that one. We got plenty of political power right now. Fighters, attackers, bombers. What is the uh, ground attack? Six. And triplane attack is ground attack nine. That's not bad. Uh, transport glider. Well, we need some fighters anyway, so that'll be good to do. As it's already 2276, and the world is heating up quite a bit. Which is good to note. And uh, before we leave for today, let's promote this guy, because he doesn't look like he has any allegiance. Also, I want to let you know I am playing on patch 1.7.1, so I'm no longer playing on patch 1.7. I'm sorry I couldn't continue playing as the Enclave, just because the mod was basically outdated by the time uh, this this came out so really not much I could have really done so that's pretty much it for this episode so guys Port Maw has joined the Northern League and that's pretty much it so guys thank you very much for watching this new campaign uh, we're gonna get try to blaze through Tlalokan as fast as possible to get to his baby son probably I think it was his second son anyways uh, leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you're new check out my discord link if you have a discord uh, I don't know really what to do with discord yet but just see how you guys are doing and what you guys are up to. So anyways, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we will continue blazing through, watching Mexico suffer, and then eventually get rebuilt. Thanks for watching.